I'm in the uh, in the kitchen today doing some important work. I got the you know, the, the young apprentice is helping me. Let the camera look. Let the young apprentice look. So what I'm doing today? Yeah. I'm um, washing, dishwashing. These knives I've got on the go at the moment are a batch of uh, Whittlers, a batch of Classics, and a couple of Gabriels, a couple of um, camp knives, and I've got a hornet for Howard. So basically, what I'm, I've, what I'm doing with these knives at the moment, I'm just de degreasing them. They haven't had the logo stamped on yet, so I've done all the, all the, the work on soft metal before they go for heat treatment. So the next step for me to do on these knives is to. Uh, is to stamp the logos in but before I do that I'd like to get everything really really clean get any swarf any oil anything off the blades so that they are just nicer to work with and best way to degrease I find is uh, a bit of washing up liquid in a brush and <laughs> oh dear Oh dear, and that can get into all the nooks and crannies like that. It gets all the rubbish off. Uh, and then we're uh, good to move on to the next stage. Well, here's the here's the current batch of knives. One, two, three, four, five, six classics. One, two, and the gatherers. The Hornet for Howard. One, two, three, four, five Whitlers. One, two. Camp knives. So all handle holes have been drilled. I've drilled the camp knives for loveless bolts. Um, these are all three mil. Uh, all, all the the smaller knives, all, all the classics are all in four mil, four mil thickness. The hunter gatherers, they're in three mil thickness. So is the hornet. The whittlers are all in three mil thickness. And the camp knives are in 4mm thickness and these will all have tapered tangs in the end. All the 4mm knives will have tapered tangs. All the 3mm knives will have straight tangs. And um, they're all in lovely AEBL stainless steel. So uh, loving that steel. Next stage on for me is to uh, stamp the logos in using a 10 ton hydraulic press. Prepare them for heat treatment. They've got to have anti scale compound added. And then it's heat treat so they get austenitized and then they go into a, an alcohol stroke dry ice freeze cycle before tempering. So I'm just now laying out some lines which helped me uh, to align the knife for logo stamping and simply I'll just put in a, a template of the template of the um, the scales and I want to know where the front of the line is so I, that line helps me lay out where I'm going to start my grind and where I want my logo to be so I've got to do that to all the knives and then I can move on to the hydraulic press. Yeah. 
here we are on the hydraulic press I got one in there already and it takes about 10 ton of pressure to get that logo the way I like it Just about there, just about there. So I've got to wait just a few moments for the press to just squeeze itself in. Just takes a few seconds. And then I can release the pressure. You can see the pressure up there. It's very dusty in here. Let's release the pressure. Yeah, and I've got a logo stamped into the blade. Here they are, all finished, all logos stamped in. Very happy with them. Uh, if you want to know how I get my handle holes drilled in like that, they're all perfectly spaced. Uh, I've got a video on the channel showing how to do that because uh, you don't want your handle holes up and down, you want them dead central. So there's a simple trick, once you know how to do it it's easy. So you can, uh, I'll put a link in the top right hand corner of how to draw your handle holes. Um, I am very busy so uh, please don't request that you, I, I'm building these for people that have already contacted me, I'm not taking any orders, um, these are, most of these knives have been spoken for already, um, so, uh, you know, I can't take any more on, I'm so busy at the moment, what with things at work and at home, uh, anyway, I'll leave you with a, a slideshow with some finished knives, and then, um, if any of these do become available, I should imagine by the time I get around to finishing these, it's probably going to be another two to four weeks at least. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video, whenever that might be. Mm -hmm.